Six left. Five right. One hundred. Six left. Height. What's going on, everybody? Back again. I'm back again with another video. You know what I'm saying? Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And today we're here to check out the scariest rally tracker in the Subtle Corsa. Now, coming off the back of the new update to the rally stage and everything, we're going to be taking this through practice mode. But we're going to turn on the Rally Copilot app to get some call outs because I heard this rally stage is crazy. Now, shout out to Captain Flat Spot. That was the YouTube video I seen. And he definitely made me want to check it out. Go down the rabbit hole. Look at the location. This is in the Czech Republic. So we're going to check it out, guys. These are the rally cars I have so far. We got a Porsche 911 GT3 2008 RGT, which is the rally version. We also have a McLaren 600LT rally, a Subaru Impreza WRC. We also have another WRC uh, Subaru. And lastly, we have a Lamborghini Huracan Storado. And I took a couple of them on a little journey and a Porsche felt the best to me. It rotates a lot because it's rear engine, but it felt the best handling the bumps on this track. We're going to try it on day and nighttime, and I heard nighttime is terrifying. The challenge for this is to go in first person. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to get right into it. So I lied. During another attempt, I found out that this was a better car. This is our Subaru WRC 2007, and this is all wheel drive and has traction control. The other one did not. So we're gonna do it with this one and we still gonna do first person, daytime and nighttime. Let's get to it. Five left, five right, 200. That Porsche was really loud too, I'm not gonna lie. And I had a lot of attempts, but I had a lot of bad Six attempts. Left, I don't know what's up with the Porsche, but it just didn't stick like a rally car like I thought it would. So you guys let me know, comment down below, what's your favorite rally car to drive in a subtle Corsa? Because I need some options. I definitely need right. some options. Ball. But this has all the grip. Subaru just does it better, I guess. I guess Subaru just, just knows right. how to make right. rally cars. 300. 70. The Porsche was cool, but I guess not for this track. Right. There's too many bumps. And for some reason, even though the engine's in the back, 100. the back end kept popping up on every bump I was hitting. So it was having Five me right. spin out. I knew it was going to rotate, but I didn't think it would pop up. Four oh, gosh. Left, oh, gosh. But this being all-wheel drive and the type of track this is where there's very narrow room for mistakes, yeah, we need this. We're gonna save the headlights for night time. <laughs> Keep it natural and see how long we last. You guys let me know. Did you Five try right. this track? And then how long did you guys last? Because you can't see, you got about a good four or five seconds Six of right. road ahead of you that you can see. And that's it. Three left. That's how long you get to, you know, make your decisions. Six left. But the rally is so fun. I'm not gonna lie, the rally mode is so fun in this set of course. This is part of the reason that I got a new wheel. Shout out to Moza. Right. I've been enjoying the game 30 times more because of the wheel. On tarmac. If you left. guys can see how I'm dropping. I would have never been able to do this on my old wheel. Never. Three right. Oh no no no. I hit it too hard. I hit it too hard as I'm talking about dropping like this. Five left. But well, once again, that all-wheel drive, and we back on the road. I, I might need to turn my force feedback down. It's on 90 right now. For those of y'all Moza guys, let me know. It's our second day on the Moza R5. And shout out to our co-pilot. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. All right, big jump. Big jump when you can't see the jumpers. It's, it's, Okay, yeah, this is definitely better. In the Porsche, we had a banner on, a Porsche banner across the windscreen, so we couldn't see. Six left, long. 300. And somehow in this Five car, right. we can see the whole road, and it's very clear, so car choice definitely matters with rallies. Uh, Y'all yeah, let me know, a Yaris right. or a Subaru? 200. Which one? Because that's everybody's recommendations that I asked. 
Anybody oh, that says WRX, some year or generation of WRX, or the Yaris, right. which a Yaris is crazy. I would never think to drive a Yaris. This track pre Overcrest. is pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty Overcrest. pretty intermediate. Three left. But if you pick Six a left. good car, oh my gosh, pick Jump. a good car though, right. and drive within your limits. Nothing is is too hard. Nothing is Four too right. hard. Jump. Do you want to see me try this on the official rally stage and see what my time comes out to be? Let me know down in the comment section below. We're going to switch to nighttime and see if it's any harder because obviously I'm the driver. Oh, now this is a whole different vibe. I can't front. <laughs> Our headlights are bright. Let's see what we get into. It, ca it kind of makes it a little bit easier because it's only the road that's illuminated. And if you hear the call out, all you got to do is smack trees and change directions as soon as you hear the call out. If your reaction time is good, this still is a hard track. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna say it was gonna be easy, but this still is a hard track. There's no room for error. One bump or one false mistake, one going too fast, one time, and your whole rally is over. Your whole rally is over. Two hundred. Oh man. Yeah, I need to turn for a feedback right. now. Oh my god. I can't believe we still made it. On tarmac. I can't believe Off we still left. made it. Three right. Yeah, we took that slower because it's night time. We never want to take a blind turn. And we was in first gear that whole time. Maybe that's why. Keep it in third so we don't spin out. So give me y'all feedback because I've been waiting to do some rally driving. I'm not going to lie. When they right. put it in the subtle course, it Six made left. the world of a difference to me. This is right up my lane when it comes to all racing right. and driving 200. games. And it had me thinking about all the reasons people love a subtle course. And it's simply Overcrest. because Five you can left. come in here and 70. make this a driving simulator. I can simulate left, any height. car and track place pair i want to pair Five right. i can drive anywhere in the world in any 200. car so yeah y'all leave a like down below go give Six this left. a try uh, it's not that hard you just gotta pick a over good car because if i show you all the porsche clips i'll keep it on the ground now this map is beautiful i'm not gonna lie then y'all would understand exactly what i'm talking right. about when i say the car matters to the world Ball. The car matters to you, to the world, right. to the rally. The car matters 70. a lot when it comes to rally driving. You want to have the right setup, the right center right. of gravity, the right tire options. Five right. It all matters. It definitely Five all matters. Right. Y'all let me 70. know. I'm going to be back next video. Four right. Six left. Leave a Five. like just for that. I'm going to be back next video after I turn my 4 c back down. And shout out to whoever showed me this track because right. this was fun. 100. I'm not going to lie. This was fun.